Wi-Fi antenna replacement for Mac Mini 2014. The tools we're going to need are a T6 screwdriver, TR6 security screwdriver, prying tool, and tweezers. Here's a TR6 screwdriver, which is a T6 with a hole. Let's begin by flipping over the unit and uh, hitting that like button. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and pry in with our plastic prying tool. Just get underneath and then twist it like left to right and the panel should pop right up. There are three uh, wide TR6 screws and then three small TR6 screws. This is the TR6 screwdriver. It's kind of hard to find that bit. Let's go ahead and remove those. You can't remove them with a regular T6 because that little uh, um, post in the middle of the screw blocks it from going in. So you need the special screwdriver. With those six removed, you can go ahead and start pulling up on the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna. Be careful, it's still attached to the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Uh, right here, go ahead with the T6 screwdriver, remove that screw, and then you can gently, with tweezers, go ahead and pop out the antenna and disconnect it. Now we can move this out of the way. Reassembly. Let's go ahead and reattach the Wi-Fi antenna. Go ahead and uh, align it with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And go ahead, guide it in, and make sure it pops in nice and firm into that socket. Just kind of twist it in and align that uh, little uh, retainer uh, hole because we're going to need to secure this last T6 screw right there. And let's just go ahead and tug that cable in a little bit, align the Wi-Fi uh, uh, antenna cover, and let's secure the three uh, wider, longer post screws uh, first. These are the TR6 screws with that little safety in the middle. And then the other three smaller TR6 screws. With those connected, we can go ahead and place back the cover. Make sure to align the cover holes with the longer uh, TR6 screws. And then clip it into place. And now you can flip the unit back over and we're done.